Well, one of the striking parts of yesterday's testimony in the Lab People Stadium shooting case was the role police say gangs played in the October 15th incident. A Mobile Police detective testifying that the three defendants and four of the victims were members of rival gangs. Our investigative reporter Brendan Kirby has been digging into all of this. He joins us now live. Now, Brendan, this does not necessarily mean that national level organizations like the Crips and the Bloods. Yeah, that's correct, Shelby. That's not what police say they see here in the port city. Instead, they say it tends to be more loosely affiliated groups, but authorities say they can be just as dangerous. At a preliminary hearing for two people charged with attempted murder, Detective John Scroggins testified that bad blood had been simmering between two rival gangs in the area. Those involved, he said, were open on social media about their affiliations. It boiled over, the detective said, at the williamson Viger game on October 15th. Five people were shot. Public Safety Director Lawrence Batiste says he can't discuss the case, but in general, he tells me, Mobile has faced gang-like violence for years. Webster's describes gangs as a group of people acting together. And so when we talk about gangs, most of the time we've always said this, we don't have gangs in a traditional sense of a Bloods and a Crips uh, here in Mobile. But we do have neighborhood rivals uh, that act in concert together to create problems in our community. Batiste says the street enforcement team of the Mobile Police Department works hard to learn about those loose affiliations and identify their members. He says these neighborhood rivals are responsible for a large chunk of the seemingly random shootings that Mobile has experienced in recent months. Historically, local gang activity is centered on drugs. A federal grand jury last year, for instance, brought drug charges against 40 people connected to a group known as the Crosley Hills Drug Trafficking Organization. But Batiste says these days it's less about criminals organizing drug rings. Uh, I can tell you today that uh, a lot of the reasons behind some of the violence that's occurring right that had, makes no sense whatsoever. I mean, it's because somebody looked at somebody the wrong way. It's because somebody bumped into somebody. It's because somebody said hello to somebody else's girlfriend. For their part, the lawyers for the two defendants who appeared in court Monday in the Ladd case downplayed the gang connection. Dennis Nisley who represents Jai Scott, noted that his client was unarmed. These crimes are usually hard to investigate because police don't often get a lot of cooperation from either side. In addition, he says that significant punishment usually isn't possible for the typically young defendants until after they age out of the juvenile system. Reporting live, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.